What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episodes 167 and 168. This one is called Black Oath. Knowing Black Clover, that's going to be like some sort of ancient, devilly pact that allows you to come back from the literal dead and regenerate, you know, some stupid OP devil shit. But I am super excited to finish out this journey with you guys. If you guys didn't know, you guys can watch this live with me over at Twitch, twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. Fantastic community, fantastic vibes, fantastic energy, all that. Don't forget, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are down in the description down below, like always for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. Twi <laughs> I almost said twitch.tv again. Black Clover, episodes 167 and 168. The first one is called Black Oath. Let's do this. So they're not killing Laurel Petchka. My widow no I like how she calls Noel her widow Noel as well. She even called oh and that transition from Aesir to Noel, come on. And they're leaving Noel because they want Noel to get stronger. This is like some demented devil shit. Yes, get your licked tongue ass back home. Get out of here. Yes. Because she was the one who cursed them so they couldn't die, right? So I'm guessing it's like exploding life. It's like it's like explosion and Pokemon is just a last ditch effort to just do some damage to us. So we had them invade us. We take some fat L's. We have another training arc. And then we go over there and whoop some ass. That's what's got to happen. Holy shit. And now we're back at the Black Bulls hideout. Best tag team this decade. Oh my god, that animation. Ooh. The way they the way they animate that EI slash or whatever he's doing right there is actually insane. And then just Dante just looks deranged. He's not even speaking. He's like, yeah, yeah. That was a good kick. That was slick by Yami. Oh. The dark thrust again. See how fucking strong we are beating his ass? We'd kill him. We'd have killed him like seven times over by now. This might be one of the best animated episodes of Black Clover yet. He just is not letting Asa get close at all. Yeah, at this point, fuck it. Use any sort of power. His right eye is fucking red. Talk to him. Talk to him, please. Oh, talk to him. I remember that. Let's talk to him. Yeah, let's talk about that. What's your motivation? I know, that's what I've been saying, Asta! You should have been talking to him. My true power. Why is that? Like what? I got two nuts, you can take one of them. I got two kidneys, I don't think I need one of them. Depends on what you take. Can we talk about this? Shouts out Asta, willing to do whatever he needs to do. And that was the first time he called him by his actual name. I didn't even pick that up. You guys are legends. He really needs him for this. He really is making a deal with the devil. Yeah, he did always call him kid. Hey, kid. Take it easy, kid. Damn it, man. Asa's the goat. Yami was truly the first person to really like help him out, you know, in terms of this, the grand scheme. Um, oh, I don't even know what to say. Let's fucking do this. We're gonna get some of the anti-magic true powers. Okay. I need to know what he's taking in return, but this is fucking 
Oh, like lightning, like black and red lightning. This is all I've got right now. It's just in his right arm. Imagine his whole body like this. Imagine he can use 100%. We're having a full-blown convo with this motherfucker. It's like Kurama. I know you hate when I compare it to Naruto, but I, I fucking love it. So what's the name of uh, Dante's fucking devil, Lucifero? We gotta kill him. How do we get in hit? Okay. This man is like Overhaul, mixed with Goro, mixed with the devil, mixed with Chuya from Bungo Stray Dogs. This guy is seven anime characters in one. He's broken. Kick ass job, Austin. <laughs> You need to come help him in return. Ooh. Look at this whole episode has just been fucking balls to the wall. With the tag team with the kickoff. Like earlier it was Julius versus Patry. This has to be the best fight in Black Clover. There's just no one, there's no one that even compares. I... The baseball bat straight in the Yami with the... These are the most brawlic men who've ever lived in this world. I love the purple and the red. It looks so badass together. Oh my God. That would be me. I would just be like, whoa. Eight seconds remaining. And now he's Envy from Full Metal Alchemist. Sweet. Oh, I love how we can recall that shit. The teamwork in this shit is so insane. Oh my god, that dark three seconds left? Grab his heart. Oh. oh, are we running out right now? Did he hand his man his katana? Because he's out of swords. Oh my god, Yami's never handed his katana to anyone. One second left. With the anti-magic, dark devil, true power, dimension, mana zone, mana method, fucking... I don't even know what to call this thing. I love how silent it is. Say something. Please say something. Oh my god. That was the best fight in Black Clover. These two tag team it up and they fucking did it. I don't know why I'm so stuck in this mindset that these devils can't be killed or beaten, but... Holy shit. So the power. If Asta is not promoted straight to the rank that you know is after this, I don't fucking know. I bet. If there's nine bones, oh my. Just when I thought we finally, finally could get a breather. Slick, Finroll. His bones still are retaining some injury from when he fought with you know. Please leave Yami, and please let Yami be okay. Ghosh is not allowing this. No. He's gonna have Yami and William, so... So they're gonna be able to move forward with the next part of their plan. They have Yami and William. They are gonna be able to do the Tree of Cleef off. It's gonna be seven deadly sins all over again. God damn damage this was the hard blunt truth that Asa needed to hear 
Truthfully, Asa, you are so strong, but you are still so weak, you know? Zenin is so strong. That's just... He really, like, we're playing Fortnite. He just third-partied us. Like, we, we didn't even get a chance to use our fucking heals yet. Oh, if anything happens to William or Yami, especially Yami, you can take them. We'll get them back. But if <laughs> I swear to God, if anything happens to him, well, we took nothing but L's. And his sword is still here, too. That's the saddest part. Talk about a fucking episode, man. All right, on to 168. This one's called Stirrings of the Strongest. I don't know what to think. Yeah, what's going on with his arm? Is it another curse or? So is Gray going to be able to be like a perma support slash healer with that? Because a giant sword. Yeah, he's like, what kind of magic are you talking about? It did say at the time the narrator said unknown magic. That's got to be a nightmare. There's no way we actually retaining Yami's katana, right? Do we actually have his katana like concealed now that we've used it like anti magically? This is Shadow Man. Yeah, two others. This guy knows all the info, yeah. And it really is dumb, I agree. Ignorant and reckless, so he's trying to teach him a little lesson, but... What do you know about him? Okay, because he's a black So, I mean... I mean, yeah, but come on. Okay, you're saying the worst parts about him, but he's an amazing person. <laughs> no, you talk shit about Yami, you're gonna have Asa come beat your ass. Who is this guy? Let me see him. Nice. He's able to stop the shadow paralysis. It really he really does have shadow magic, like we're that's really handy. I agree. Reveal yourself. Oh, I like his hair. He has like a ponytail. Okay, who are you? You know what? His name is Noct, which is fucking amazing. It's been 167 something episodes, and I've not a single time wondered who the vice captain of the Black Bulls was. He's a devil possessed Black Bulls vice captain who's infiltrating the fucking Spade Kingdom, Noct. Like, how cooler of a character could you fucking have as a fucking introduction? He has, sh like, this is. He's the vice captain of the Black Bulls, knocked. I can't get over that. Oh my, please! Please! Oh my god, he's the training arc we needed. Lord have mercy. Gi Modelo? I was drinking a Modelo the other day. That's insane. Knowing nothing about me. I've only been in the hideout once. <laughs> okay. Because this man is a spy. A very long time. There's no one who can cure Asa's weakness besides this guy. Talk about a perfect tutor. All right, knocked. No, don't worry. You'll sense it eventually. <laughs> You'll sense it. 
this was the start it felt like to a very long arc with the training into the heart spade arc but then it still feels like early stages in this arc so we got a lot to do and i'm hyped for it you know i need this movie to come out i need the rest of black clover to come out i might need to read the manga i don't even know emergency meeting with two of the captains missing even as we speak yeah we really have to be on edge we really have to be careful Knowing Jack, that's exactly... Oh, okay. We know Jack and Yami are fucking homeboys. The tension is getting crazy right now. Noct is here, yep. I wonder Noct's voice actor. I feel like I recognize it. I'm curious. I love how quiet, calm, cool, and collected he is, you know? I'm curious about his demon powers specifically, his devil powers. So Julius knows of him, doesn't know the full details, but why does he have like four separate devils behind them, you know? Like, you have Gimodello and all that. Yeah, no one's wondered who the vice captain was. It's not just me, so I don't feel like that much of an idiot, you know? Oh, they used to be on the Grey Deer together? And it's probably a huge ritual, just like... Just like Patry and, you know, Licked and all that. Huge ritual that required so much gathering and energy and all that. Over seven days, the advent of Cleefoth. That looks like the Devil King down there. The upper devils are like Lucifero, Megacula. There's devils below that. Lucifero. That's Dante's. Got it. Some people just want to watch the world burn, uh, world burn, you know? Yeah, I don't want to understand how they think either, you know? Nor do I care. We just gotta kill him. I like this guy, Knock, so far. Doesn't he deal with any bullshit. Very weird and shady, but I like him. Asha's gonna be our ultimate warrior. Has that much potential. Three wa- Three days? I didn't think this was be going that fast. I thought we'd have like a couple weeks. Gravity and body magic. Curse warding and blood magic. And then bone and spatial. So is that why he was able to get rid of spatial magic from uh, Finral? He wants revenge. He wants to avenge his comrades, you know, who died. Can't believe we lost him on and Shiren, bro. It's honestly crazy. He would know about Yuno's history as well. He would know about Ralph. Okay, he's calling out everything. He doesn't know Yuno's backstory, though. Tell him. Ah, I don't know if we should tell him. Tell him. Ah, tell him. Let's go. Oh? Uh? Oh? Uh? That would be my reaction. Yeah, I don't think anyone can blame them for that, but but he, we do need to save him. Yes, he was. And he used his, like, World Tree magic to literally save the people from the Golden Dawn on the verge of death. Everyone else will be dead, including, you know, if not for him. I get it. You go get your mans, you know. He's got such a personal investment over the years of him, or over the months, and a year and like a half, right? He's truthfully grown to appreciate his comrades and his squad. I haven't heard him get this emotional in a long time. Bell also wants her revenge. I respect it. I respect it. Three days from now. Actually insane. The most, you're going to be the ultimate champion, like you said, you know? 
They both have both their captains they need to rescue as well. This is the perfect rivalry between them. Yeah, Laura, Pechka, Noel, Charm, all of them. We never we never actually saw them after the explosion. I hope Leo, Charmy, and the rest of them are okay. Speak of the devil. No pun intended. Okay. He's healing up on, what is that, cotton? Ooh. What the? Raya, Fauna, Veto, and fucking Patry? How? What? What the hell is up with this show and just throwing plot to a center, left, right, and center? God damn, this is crazy. Uh, okay. Um, overall, absolutely fantastic episodes. Uh, just when I thought we could have somewhat had a happy ending during the whole Yami Asta crazy fight, you know, of course, Zenon had to show up, take them. We got handed some insanely hard L's. I am, uh, <laughs> oh, I don't even know what to think. Knocked as a vice captain. We finally got that answer. Actually insane. We need to train Asta on using the power of the devils. We have three days. We're going to infiltrate them during their opening of the seven layers of hell. Literally. And then, oh my god, this is insane. I think the whole surprise, the plot twist of Noct and the plot twist of <laughs> Patri, Fauna, and Veto, Raya, all of them. Like, how do they, how are they still throwing plot twists in this shit? And I have two episodes left. Like, uh, I need this to come back. I need the movie to come out. This has all just been absolutely fantastic. The Devil Binding Rituals, the next episode. Ooh, I'm excited. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Come watch this live with us. Twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. Great community, great vibes, great experience. Um, if you guys want early access or full length, up to four episodes, check out Patreon. All the links for everything are in the description down below. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Appreciate you guys immensely. Peace.